Um, I'm going to introduce you to a tool called Kcash Grind. I mentioned a moment ago um, that gives us an even prettier visual representation of what's going on there. Does anybody have any questions so far? So the wonders of X11, we're able to execute this application that's actually running off the Linux VM in the outer Mac world, which is pretty handy. So that's the Ubuntu VM? It's, that's Ubuntu is running on the, where's the Ubuntu running? Uh, the Ubuntu is running inside this, uh, inside the Mac right now. So, a little bit more colors right off the bat, it's a little bit more visually appealing. Oh, but it gets prettier. I like this tool because it gives you uh, a nice re visual representation of the uh, uh, everything that goes on in a way that you can tell at a glance what's consuming all the processing time. Uh, you can see here that PREG grep is it's a huge chunk of this overall processing time. Uh, it's basically what we're doing is we're taking every entry in, in the RSS feed and um, we're running a grep on it with uh, uh, every one of those line items that we entered as the searches. Um, let's have a look at the PREG grep. So, it's a nice tool. Uh, it's a built-in function. It's a built-in function. Um, we are, uh, I think we're using it to good effect here, but the problem with um, PREGs is that they're really powerful search tools when really all we want to do is find Miley Cyrus in a blob of text. That's kind of like using a sledgehammer to pound in a small nail. It's not really necessary. Uh, a lot of people learn the power of regular expressions early on. Uh, and they use them to great effect, but uh, when the load really hits their website, they find that it's running pretty darn slow, and regular expressions have a, may have a lot to do with that. So if you're doing simple text searches, perhaps there might be a better way. My PREG grep here is happening in this uh, function I'm calling uh, grep RSS entries. Uh, and we can quickly go over the, uh, the structure of this function. Uh, what we're doing is taking all of the grabs or searches uh, we entered in that box originally, um, iterating, or I'm sorry, uh, iterating across those and then searching uh, the list of RSS entries with that. Then recombining the entire list of RSS entries that matched and returning it. Sorting it, of course, by its original order. Uh, I created this other set of functions down here called filter RSS entry list, um, and then a couple of helpers down below. Uh, there are more lines overall here. There are more functions, but what it does is a really simple stir case insensitive pause, stir i pause. Uh, it is a lot less sexy than a regular expression, but uh, let's compare it side by side with. Uh, that grind. Let's see this file number was three six one nine. Took a total of uh, two point eight seconds. So profile scan mode. I ran another X debug output, uh, and this is the difference. So just flipping back and forth, we notice immediately 
2.8 seconds to execute in grep mode. Scan mode, basically these are just variables I stuck at the end of the query string to help me identify one X debug output from another. Uh, scan mode to 1.8 seconds. Uh, drilling down here, filter RSS entry. Again, that was the main function here. Uh, uh, or filter RSS entry list uh, took a total of 9.46% execution time. Um, we jump back to the grep version. Thirty-six percent of execution time. So, Xdebug helped us find an inefficient al algorithm and confirm the fact that it was inefficient. Because me just telling you that regular expressions are slow, um, it, it's not always true. And this is a great way to quantify uh, how much slower they are if they, if in fact they are slow.